I'm in an Ilona and this lesson is about the silver birch. I really love silver birches and here's a lovely grove of them. Now how do we know they're silver birches? Because then um, they have the white bark. They have silver bark, very good. And yeah. look at the lovely shiny bark on them. Yeah. I see there's ivy growing on the bark, but of course ivy doesn't do them any harm. No. Ivy is a place where other creepy crawlies can live, yeah. so it's good for like them. That snail up there. Absolutely. Now if we look at the leaves of the ivy, look at the leaves of the leaves of the birch, we can see that they have lovely triangular leaves. And they're called the lady of the wood because they're so elegant. See this lovely triangular leaf? I don't think any other tree has a lovely little triangular leaf yeah. like this. Something's been eating that one. Look at it. Yeah, I think yeah. a caterpillar might have. It might have done or something like that. This is the leaf of the silver birch. A lovely little triangular leaf, in fact. One of the most elegant of leaves. Something's been having a go at this. There's a big hole in the middle of it. Look, caterpillar must have been gobbling it. Now they're beginning to change colour. Look, they're going golden in colour because when they fall off, all the food in the leaves will be wasted. They're all working leaves. So before they fall off, the tree has to take the food out of them. Oh. So that's why they're turning yellow. And then when they get all the food out of them, they'll fall down in autumn time. And in springtime, of course, we get catkins on them. And the wind pollinates the catkins by blowing them. And we get lovely little seeds. So this is the birch. Yeah. And it's the lady of the wood. And I think it might be my favourite tree.